Hey, what's up everybody? Hey, uh, before we start this video off, I just want to make a little bit of an announcement. Um, I had uh, quite a few files go missing on my computer and uh, got nobody to blame but myself. It's all my fault, so uh, I learned from it and I know now what not to do on my computer. So, sorry in advance for uh, shortness of video maybe and I don't know, I'm going to try to do my best uh, to make everything uh, go smooth on the videos, but there's just a lot of clips that went missing, so uh, it might be a little difficult. So, just wanted to make that clear, and I hope you enjoy the video. I think it looks pretty good. The first field we chiseled, uh, this gang definitely wasn't low enough. Uh, it still did a really good job. It's just I want to bury this trash a little more, so that makes some adjustments. Alrighty, so I'm pulling in the farm here, and uh, I'm gonna start to get my combine ready. Just gotta grease it, uh, check the oil, actually check all fluids. A uh, little morning routine. So it, it's in the shop here. I'm gonna go ahead and start on that, and then she'll be ready to pick some corn. before things in farming can change like that so a uh, little change of plans here we're not going to be rolling to that big 160 here next uh, we're actually going to be running up the road here we were filling a bin yesterday and uh, it's almost full and we're down a truck this morning so we've only got three trucks rolling and uh, since we're within uh, what, a mile and a half of the farm and uh, the bin's almost full we might as well just fill it up uh, so we can keep rolling with three trucks or you know I really don't know what's going to be going on, so I probably shouldn't make any assumption at all. And we'll just go with the flow, so how about that? Here we go, next field. I'm going along the road here. Dad's working on the uh, west end. I know the uh, north, south, east, and west does not matter to you guys unless you're familiar with where I'm at right now. But uh, he's down there taking that end off, and I'm going to make my way over here and do this other end. So. And then we can start rolling in a circle, making circles. Feeder house on this 6080H jumped a cog. So I'm waiting for the service truck to get here. I gotta drop this head off, loosen it up, and uh, get this all straightened out. I know maybe some of you guys have seen in previous videos uh, Dad's combine fixed it a couple times. Uh, not sure exactly how it does it, but uh, you can just tell because it starts to make a little clanging noise on the feeder house. Um, I went out in front and looked at it. You can see how one side's angled down. So, yeah, I gotta drop this head off and we gotta loosen up the feeder house chain, probably loosen the slats and try to jump it back on. So, gotta wait here for the tools. 
So as you can see, that side's a lot higher. Jump the sprocket. So I gotta loosen up the chain here and uh, hop it back on in the right spot. Well, we got the feeder house all straightened out, but the reason it's jumping is the guide uh, for the slats on one side uh, was bit up a little bit. So it was throwing it off and I'm taking this combine to the farm. I dropped the head off the field and uh, well, I guess I dropped the head off to fix the feeder house anyway, but I'm headed to the farm. I got I to gotta heat up a piece of metal that's in there that runs the slats and feed it back down so it's straight flat. So dad's still running. So at least one combine is still doing something. All right, we've arrived at the workshop, so let's get this taken care of. Well, it was a quick pit stop. I think it was about a 15 minute pit stop there at the farm. Uh, I didn't film it because I just kind of wanted to get it done and get out of there. So, heated up that piece that was bent, uh, bent it back down so the slack can run perfect across there and all situated, had to hose out that feeder house really good because that is the last thing I want to happen is a combine fire. So hosed everything off after uh, running the torch in there and uh, headed back to the field and we're going to start picking. Downtime total was probably about an hour so dad was able to get the field all trimmed out for me so now when I pull in there I can hook up and start rolling. Alright it's time to hook back up. Alrighty, now time for the hookup and we're ready to go. running awfully good so far. Everything sounds good. Well, the lights are on. And uh, elevator closes in 40 minutes. So when it closes, we'll load up four trucks and two auger carts, and we'll be done for the evening. Uh, Tom here in the auger cart on the Magnum, uh, he lost the light game. Uh, he was the first one to break the ice, so I think I came in uh, second place. Jeff is winning because he still doesn't have his lights on. You can't really see him. He's sitting on the end down there. Uh, he probably won't turn his lights on for another 20 minutes or so. He likes it real dark when he kicks them on. But yeah, winner is Jeff. Good job. Neighbor across the street over here, he's had his lights on since about 3 o'clock, so he really just didn't care. He was like, you know what, I'm going to turn them on now, and uh, they're not coming off till I'm done. So he definitely uh, wasn't too worried about taking first place. Yep. Uh, Jeff did take first place. He actually just kicked his lights on, so. Everybody's got lights on now around the countryside, so there's no more games this evening. I guess we'll have to wait for tomorrow. Well, we're down to one auger cart to load. We've got four trucks loaded, and that cart dad's topping it off right now. So we will be heading out here shortly. Um, a couple rounds here for dad and I, and that cart will be full. It's 7.30, so not too bad. Well, that's it for today's harvest. Had a pretty good day of picking corn, so happy with it. Got about a half a hopper here, and uh, everything's loaded. So, taking these up here to the pickup truck, lock everything, and head home for the night. 7:50, so not too bad. That's gonna be it for today's video. I uh, appreciate you guys for watching. Uh, I'd appreciate if you'd also hit that sub button down below give it a thumbs up and uh, we'll see you next time.